everybody thank you welcome back to my channel thank you so much for uh, liking and subscribing i am so excited for today's message today's one as well so uh, i have my notes and i have my bible here and i'm so ready and i hope you're ready for me too the title of this message is when envy knocks on your heart what you're gonna do when envy knocks that's the title of this message thank you once again Okay, before I get into the message, I just want us to pray real quick just a second and yeah, and get into the message. Alright, let us pray. Father God, I come before your holy throne. Thank you so much for, for today. Thank you, Lord, that you're reminding us once again to keep a clean heart, Lord, to be with a pure heart. Oh, Father God, may you read our hearts from the spirit of jealousy. May you remind us, oh God, to be righteous before you, Jehovah God. I also pray, Father, that you convict those that are, are entertaining the spirit of jealousy, my Lord. May you teach us to be happy for one another, Lord, with, with, um, with a pure heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome back. Like I said, we're going to talk about when envy knocks. Alright, some of you might want to use the word jealousy or covet. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. I will use the word envy and jealousy interchangeably. So, um, last time we spoke about you making a list, right? Making a list of the things that you, your heart desire, and then you pray those things in existence. Now, it is, I'm, I'm, I got some feedback, people are doing that, and they're seeing the difference, and some of you probably have just made a list internally, and, you, and, and whatever works for you, that's good. But I just want to say that when you give a list to God, or when you give your heart's desire to God, guess what? The devil also has an assignment for that list. He also wants to come and distract you. And one way that he'll come and distract you is come with the spirit of envy and jealousy. Because uh, in many cases, you'll find that people around you, everybody else around you seems to be getting blessed but you. You have prayed to God for a car and then before you know it, your, uh, your colleague comes with a car. You have prayed to God for a house and then your home loan is rejected and somebody else's home loan is approved. And you wonder like, why, why is it not me? Why is it everybody else? Maybe you're trusting God for a baby in your marriage, but your 16 year old niece comes home and tells you, Auntie, I'm pregnant. And she has no business for you pregnant. You are the one who's married. You should be getting pregnant. So you can be tempted to get jealous. And I just want to advise you today, do not fall for the trap of the enemy to make you jealous. And we're going to talk about why it's very dangerous if you entertain the spirit of jealousy. So before I go any further, I just want to take you to a scripture in the Bible. It's in Proverbs 14, 30. Let's quickly go there. I like the New Living Translation uh, version. It says, a peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Alright, then uh, NIV version uh, says a heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. So I want us to go to the New Living Translation. It, it is saying jealousy is like cancer in the bones. And I want you to highlight that word in. It doesn't say it's over or under or around it. It's actually in, in the bones. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about that, how I feel the Lord has made this scripture uh, enlightened to me because there's so many scriptures in the Bible on envy and jealousy but I, I have two scriptures I'm going to share with you today that are more that have spoken more to me and that is one of them when when it, when I, I saw the word cancer I was taken back there was so uh, so many years back I was a nurse and I was privileged enough to work in a cancer ward my heart goes out to cancer patients and to cancer survivors and to families who've lost their loved ones due to cancer. But what I've seen firsthand, I've seen that cancer is a vicious disease. It, it literally comes to kill, steal and destroy. I have seen people lose their hair, lose their appetite, lose their, their weight because of cancer. And I've also seen them lose their life. I've seen different types of cancer. It comes in different stages and it comes in different forms. It was not a good sight. These people were, were groaning with pain. It's not a good sight to see. And I have been exposed to that. And when I see God uh, comparing jealousy to cancer, I, I took it as if as cancer comes to, 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 to take away. So, so does jealousy. 
jealousy when it comes in your heart when it infiltrates your heart it will come to take away and the thing with the spirit of jealousy is that it comes for everybody everybody all of us it, we are tempted to get jealous one way or another because as we go in life somebody else seems to be blessed by us and so um as much as cancer takes away the weight the life and and the appetite of people jealousy takes away your peace because every time you see somebody blessed then you feel you feel you know you don't feel happy jealousy also takes away um it takes away your blessings because you are now disconnecting yourself from god and one important thing is jealousy destroys relationships and i just want to to, to use my personal experience um, you know, I have such an amazing husband who, who's so always looking out for me. He's always uh, seeing that I'm doing okay in almost all areas of my life. And one thing that he's really good at is seeing people's characters like firsthand. And uh, he has been warning me for so many, for so long about a certain individual that I was, I was, um, was in my life. And I used to invest so much in this person and I used to trust this person. And my husband will always advise me that that person does not have the best in interest at heart for you. That person has a hidden agenda. That person is not genuine. He would always warn me about this person. But because I'm so stubborn and because I don't listen and I'm also very trusting, I give this person the benefit of the doubt. But later on, it was revealed that uh, this person um, actually had some kind of envious agenda towards me for a very long time. And when that was exposed, I literally detached myself. I, I withdrew from that person. I, I cancelled off that relationship. And that is why I'm saying jealousy is not good because it will make you lose relationship. Now that person doesn't have a relationship with me anymore because of the spirit of jealousy. And nobody want to be around a jealous person. I don't want to be around anybody who's jealous. Because jealous people are dangerous people. We can even look at the example of, um, of Joseph. He was sold in slavery by the brothers because they were jealous of him. They were jealous of the fact that he, he, he got a, a coat of many colors from the father. They were jealous because he, um, he, the father loved him more. They were also jealous of his dreams that God gave him. So they even wanted to kill him just because of jealousy. But at the end of the day, they, they sold him in slavery. And another example is when you, came, you look at Cain and Abel. The other brother killed the other one because he's jealous. So if you entertain the spirit of jealousy, like the Bible says, it like rots the bones. It will come in your soul and it will rot you. You will become so rotten. Nobody wants to be around you. Nobody wants to, to interact with you. Nobody even wants to trust you because of jealousy. And, and uh, I want to take you to... Um, just give me a minute. I also want to make another point whereby you're probably thinking that how do I tell that I'm, I'm jealous? How will I know? Because this is not something that we easily admit to. Nobody goes around and say, oh, I'm so jealous of Peter and yeah, I'm jealous of his car. Nobody admits it like that. We don't want to admit it because it's something that we feel, you know, we don't have. We always think that we're not jealous. Now the devil parades around and he comes in the form of light. So he will cover up the spirit of jealousy and make it look like something simple like oh, maybe you just don't like the person or maybe you just don't gel with that person but in mere fact it's actually a spirit of jealousy that is infiltrating your heart now when you tell that the person is jealous if you want to tell that you are actually entertaining that spirit of jealousy one of the signs is that you that you like to compare yourself a lot Comparison is one of the signs that somehow, somewhere, you could be jealous of people. You are comparing your marriage to, to other people's marriages. You are comparing your, your life to other people's lives. You are comparing your children to other people's children. You're comparing your job or whatever is that. Comparison is also a sign that one way you could be jealous. Another way is that gossiping. Just creating, fabricating stories about people it's also a form that somehow you could be jealous of these people because why do you talk bad about them why do you say all these untrue things about them it's because you are jealous how else why else would you say that if you're not jealous and as much as you don't want to admit it it is a spirit of jealousy and another thing is which is very very common now in the body of christ and i had this conversation with a colleague of mine uh, i think a few weeks back and she came to me she's, she's really disturbed especially by women when we see other people's blessings we discredit 
we destroyed their blessings by bringing back the, 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 the baggage of the past. For example, if you see a couple that is happily married, a couple's marriage is restored, you are the one to go and find the wrong things about their marriage so that you can tell everybody about it. Everybody else is impressed by their new love, by their marriage that is restored, but you are the one who wants to remind everybody that, ah, oh, don't get impressed by that couple. Because last year or two years ago, they were separated. When somebody is blessed today, you are the one to bring the, the negative. Everybody is positive, but you are always the one negative. You see somebody who is promoted, but you want to remind everybody that the same person who was dismissed 10 years ago from a previous employer. You see somebody else is, um, is, is blessed in terms of, of money, maybe they are prospering now, but you are the one who wants to remind everybody that they were being dropped two years ago or something like that. You always bring the bad and the negative. You want to remind people of people's valleys when they were in their valley, but now they're on their mountaintop. But you don't want to be happy for them. You want to remind everybody that somehow, somewhere, something was wrong in their lives to discredit their blessings. That's a sign that you could be jealous as well. Another way is just finding fault. You always see the wrong in a person. Everybody's complimenting this person. Wow, she looks so beautiful. But you are the first one to pick up, yeah, but I don't like her hairstyle. Or I, people are like, no, she's so intelligent. But you are the first to pick up, like, I don't know, I don't like the way she talks. You're always the one picking out the negatives. It's a sign that you are jealous, all right? And um, I want to take you to, to my second scripture that I feel the Lord has spoken to me about this situation once again. It's in Psalms 24, verse 4. Let's go back to that one. Is in NIV, Psalms 24, verse 4 to 5, actually. I'm going to read it. It's um, the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. Verse 5. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Now, I want us to look in verse 4. It's something that just, you know, stood out for me. The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Let us highlight and bold that word pure heart. And let's jump to verse 5. They will receive blessing from God, from the Lord, and vindication from their God their Savior. If you are jealous, if you have a spirit of jealousy, you, you don't have a pure heart. And if you don't have a pure heart, you will not receive the blessing of God. If you don't have a pure heart, you will not receive the vindication. From God and that is and that is the danger we don't want to be in a place where we, we don't have vindication of the Lord God because he gives us instructions he's the one giving us direction of our life now if you are jealous you won't be getting the direction for your life so you end up being a lost somebody hopping from one place to another you don't know where you are going you don't know your purpose you don't know your destiny because you are not receiving instructions from God and another thing is that um you will also not receive God's blessing and for those of you who made your list, your heart's desire, you're trying to pray those things in existence, you will not receive those things because your heart is not pure. So, and that is my message that I'm just advising you that once you've made that list, make sure that your heart is pure so that those heart's desires can materialize. Now, you might be saying that, okay, Sarah, I, I don't know if, if it's me you're talking about, but I feel like it's me you're talking about. I sometimes don't feel happy for other people's blessings. I, I always gossip or I always bring the negative when I see people being blessed. I don't want this thing anymore. I don't want to be a hater. I don't want to be um, the person that's not happy for somebody. Now you're probably asking, now how do I get rid of that spirit? First things first, you repent. All right, Repent from it. Give it to God. Say, Lord, I, I don't want this thing. Search my heart. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, Search me, O Lord, and lead me in your way everlasting. So you want the Lord to come in your heart and search you. Because you're not sure if you are entertaining the spirit of jealousy. Allow him to search your heart. And once he search your heart, whatever he brings up, deal with it. Another way is to be honest. Be honest with yourself and be honest with God. Be honest to say, you know what? I am jealous of, of Peter's new car. I'm jealous of Joseph's marriage. I am jealous of... Um, you know, Mary's house. I am jealous. Be honest and tell God that Lord help me from this spirit of jealousy because I am really jealous. And if um, once you've done that, name the people you are jealous of and what you're jealous about. Because when you bring it 
to light. When you bring the dark place and you bring all the light, I'm telling you, God is going to cleanse your heart and purify your heart. And another way you can also deny the spirit of jealousy is don't feed it. What you don't feed won't grow. I got that from Joyce Meyer. What you don't feed won't grow. And uh, you want to not give it any more power than it already has. So when that spirit of jealousy comes in your heart, you, you rebuke it. You say, I'm not going to be jealous. I'm going to be happy for people. I'm going to compliment them. Uh, another way you can even do it is pray for these people. If you see that your brother comes there with a beautiful wife and, and, and you feel in your heart that thing is coming up, the jealous thing is coming up, just go there and compliment them. Another way you can compliment someone, it destroys the spirit of jealousy immediately. And you can also just pray for that person. Because that, that's what jealousy doesn't want you to do. It doesn't want you to pray for them, it wants you to gossip them. And, and you cannot pray and gossip at the same time. So choose to pray for them instead. And then that way you can kill the spirit of jealousy. And I can um, testify that I was once tempted with the spirit of jealousy. And I, and I, and I decided I'm not going to entertain it. And it did not take over me. And I thank God that we rebuked it and it was destroyed in Jesus' name. And so um, I just want to encourage you right now and, and say and, and encourage you that once you do that, God is going to give you his peace and his contentment. You are going to be so content in your heart knowing that even if people come around you with all their blessings, you are so content. Somebody can come there with their Range Rover and you are still taking taxis. You are happy for them. You are not disturbed. Another person might come there with a wedding invitation and you are still single. You are so happy for them. You are not disturbed. And you want to come to that place in your life so that you can get God's blessings. So I'm really, really encouraging you to, to stop entertaining the spirit of jealousy. It doesn't look good on anybody, it doesn't look good on you. So get rid of it. Don't, you don't want to destroy relationships because of it. So many relationships have been destroyed because of jealousy and because we're entertaining this thing. So um, thank you so much. That's all I had for you guys today. Thank you for watching. And uh, please, I love you. Love me back by liking, subscribing and sharing my messages. Please scroll down there, uh, if you scroll up, there's a comment section below. Give me something cute and uh, next time, goodbye.